Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh uh, Salam sejahtera Today, I have been given a task to teach uh, a short semester semester pendek uh, for a subject static uh, If you see here, this is the normal teaching plan in the whole semester which is the first week we will cover on engineering mechanic introduction Second week was a vector three to four, uh, three to five week of the week five. I mean, uh, equilibrium of particle and week six to seven force of, of uh, system resultant. Okay, and follows with this uh, uh, second half of the semester until the week fifteen. Okay, for the short semester we only have uh, four weeks, four weeks. So I should cover only a tutorial of this lesson so uh, today lesson today lesson we will cover on uh, week 1 to week 7 today lesson we will cover on week 1 to week 7 so how I will cover to from week 1 to week 7 uh, which is I will solve a question from a final year of uh, a static question final year of static question which is uh, 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 consists of uh, only two questions for each semester so I will try to solve for you uh, I will try to solve for you around four questions okay around four questions which is uh, encompassing all these topic from one to topic uh, one two three four to four topic okay I will cover that from uh, solving the question so you will learn how to solve the question based on this topic uh, we done with that uh, supposedly uh, for now let me discuss with you the time that we should uh, that you should learn from uh, 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 this lesson uh, supposedly I have to I have to upload all the lesson in the every week I have to upload the lesson every week so I uh, 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 I force myself to upload it on Friday but if something need to do it urgently so uh, for just now uh, for last week I haven't upload anything so today I will upload this topic hopefully you can follow uh, this topic uh, in YouTube of course and the following uh, not the following this week also at the Friday I will upload another lesson which will cover on equilibrium of rigid body okay will cover oh no 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 I will cover on centroid and center of mass and moment of inertia another two question sorry another four question out of uh, uh, this topic okay centroid and center of mass and moment of inertia I will uh, solve for you four questions so uh, at the next week I will cover on the friction and this it so you will ready for uh, final examination again for static okay Static subject. That's it for simple, uh, simply teaching plan for you, so that you can absorb. Anyway, you can call me anytime if you want to. You know my number. You can press. Uh, if you happy to call me, you can call me. If you happy to WhatsApp me, you can WhatsApp me anytime. No problem. So this is the first question. Question 1, answer the following question. How do you distinguish between rigid body and deformable body in the study of engineering mechanics? Static lah. Engineering mechanics di sini ialah static lah. Okay. Uh, how do you distinguish? Macam mana you bezakan di antara rigid body and deformable body? Uh, selalunya, uh, usually, uh, student will not answer this question. Any question with 
uh, writing here student will leave it out because they don't know what to answer actually student have lost the mark from the at least 5 to 10 marks lah 5 to 10 marks kalau ditinggalkan soalan yang berbentuk macam ni dia sebenarnya uh, 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 rugi around 5 to 5 uh, 5 to 10 marks okay for this example question question 1 question 1 here this is question 1b this is question 1a uh, question 1a is uh, it will pass you uh, the theoretical part okay of that topic theoretical part for example here how do you distinguish between rigid body and formal body so senang saja uh, rigid body something that you cannot uh, if you press of your force or your your uh you give uh, some uh, a force at least so the body is not uh it's not it's not changing okay it's not changing that's we call rigid body for example you have a block we have a block of aluminium this is aluminium if you push or press from this side uh, the aluminium is still there maybe it is moving no problem but it is we call it rigid body because the shape is not deformed compared to deformable body where you press it you press it then it will go like this it deform okay that's how you distinguish between rigid body and deformable body okay for example of deformable body uh, rubber you have the rubber then that's a deformable body okay and two state any two conditions that need to be satisfied when solving 3d particle okay you have a topic of 3d particle equilibrium so you have to solve for example this question find uh, uh, selalunya dia given a lot of uh, forces lah is here is here and oh sorry here okay this is the arrow of force this is the arrow of force so state any two condition that need to be satisfied when solving 3D particle in equilibrium what does it mean by equilibrium which mean uh, the, the particle is in static so which is in static so the two condition you need to satisfy is summation of force is equal to zero in x direction and summation of force in y direction equal to zero uh, this already two condition lah. first condition second condition and the third condition is summation of fz equal to zero okay that is uh, a 3d particle in equilibrium example this is uh, again i repeat this is your uh, a, a particle 3d particle so this is the force in any direction any direction which is encompassed within your uh, axis lah z x and y either orientation so if you find uh, if you try to solve a 3d particle equilibrium you must need to satisfy this equation first okay we're done with that so if you try attempt with this kind of answer you can have a uh, five mic here five mark definitely five mark okay five marks with some of course uh, 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 description lah sedikit tak maulah tulis benda-benda macam ni saja of course lah kalau saya memang saya faham lah you kalau you tulis ni pun saya akan bagi markah but try to write something at least try to write something if you don't know for question 1b uh, figure Q1B here, figure Q1B 
shows the num the member of OA. Okay, the member of OA. Ni OA lah ni. Dia macam uh, asin inda. Dia letakkan secara horizontal. Which is a pin connected at point O. Uh, dia pin connected. And supported by two cable at A. Ada dua cable support dekat A. Knowing that the tension of cable AB and AC are 900 Newton and 1200 Newton respectively. Uh, number one, calculate the force component for cable AB, for cable AB here, cable AB and AC. Also, determine the magnitude and direction of resultant of forces resulted by cable A. At point A, sorry. The cables, the cable, this which means these two cables at point A. Okay, the resulted one. Resulted of forces. Okay. What will you expect in the number three? What will you expect on the resultant force if cable A, B and A, C? A, B here and A, C are shortened by moving point A to middle of member O, A here. Okay. So, another two mark. This is, uh, this, uh, this question number three, Roman number three here, uh, you don't need, you don't need to answer it using a calculation. You just need to describe with some proven uh, 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 fact based on the figure there. So, you don't need solve uh, mathematically. You can solve mathematically, but it's not uh, worth with the marks there, two marks. Okay. It is only on the description of your understanding to the question. Okay, right? As I said before, uh, this uh, five mark, so seven mark, cover on your theoretical understanding of the topic. So se seven mark. Okay. Uh, let me uh, uh, solve the first question. The first one. The first one. If the question didn't ask you to uh, sketch the free body for free body diagram, you will need first of all you need to sketch a free body free body diagram first to solve this particular question. Okay, any static uh, 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 static problem which is involved in free body diagram, please draw it properly. Okay, if you draw it properly, you uh, it will uh, it will help you to solve the question in the main way. Okay, in the proper way. Okay, for example, here the question asks you to determine the force component for cable AB and AC. So the first one you need uh, to draw FBD. No problem. If you draw FBD, there will be mark, even though there is no asking you the question not asking you to draw it okay just draw it the lecture will know that you understand the question and they will give you mark from there for example here this is your free body diagram a simple one okay free body diagram that show your understanding from there okay this is tension I will use uh, capital T tension A B and this is not tension of cable. I use T also, capital T. And the cable is AC. Cable AC. And, and don't forget with the OA, which is pin connected at point O. Which is pin connected at point O. Which means you have a... You have a force at the OA there. You have a force at the OA. Pin connected. Okay. So let's say it is. Let's assume that. Okay. Let's assume that. OX. Sorry. OY. 
and this is O X. Okay, so this is your FPD. You can have that mark, even though even though the question didn't ask you to uh, to draw FPD, but you draw it, you can have a mark from there. If the FPD is correct, okay. From there, from the FPD there, you can start to solve your uh, uh, your problem. Between the force component for cable AB and AC. So, the first thing first, you need to know the vector of the AB. Where's the AB? The vector of AB. Uh, uh, put it I, J. Okay. The best way to solve this question is using a vector, vector analysis. Okay. So the I is six from X positive 6 so the y in y at b at the point b y is 3 is a positive 3 3 and and the z is 2 a to b from a to B, oh my goodness! From A to B, I'm sorry. From A to B. From A to B, so you need to minus six here. Sorry, minus six. Uh, this is x, right? This is x. This is y, and this is z. From A to B, so you need to find a uh, the x direction of from from point A to B. So x direction from A to B is minus 6 minus 6 meter and you go y direction first uh, positive 3 here positive 3 then uh, positive so minus z minus z here minus z uh, if you look at uh, the axis z here pointing this direction is positive pointing that direction is negative okay for uh, same goes with the x axis pointing there is positive pointing the opposite of x direction is negative so from point a to o is a negative direction so you put six night minus six here and uh, for y or j you have a positive right positive trigger and k you are uh, you are move opposing the z direction so it is a negative 2 so this is your vector ab or in the chantic way is 6i minus 6i plus 3j minus 2k there so this is your vector ab easy okay let's let's do for the ac vector ac let me scroll a little bit vector ac if you don't know just make a table like this okay uh, i j k so from A to C, so it's same there, minus 6 on the x direction. Uh, for the y, uh, minus uh, positive 4. Uh, and z is the positive 2. Positive 2. Kalau positive, kita tak tuliskan. Minus saja tuliskan. So, uh, the vector AC is minus 6i. For J plus 2K. Simple? Simple. Then, from this vector, how to know the, 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 not the tension, the distance between A to point B or the distance of that cable. The distance of that cable. Uh, we have that formula. You have applied the formula. 
uh, AB. Let me find the AB first. The distance of that cable AB equal to B. Them in mind with the with the uh, 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 symbol here. AB any position A and B we put it together and there is arrow at the uh, at, at the alphabet there we call it as a vector. Without that, without that, we call it as a distance. Okay, A B. So to find the distance between A and B, you have two square root, and uh, and find find the the the, the square root and uh, power of every i and g power of two every i g and k. For example, like this. A, the distance between A and B is uh, 6 power of 2 minus 6 lah plus 3 power of 2 plus minus 2 power of 2 so you will get a distance of AB which is 7 meter 7 meter a lot of M there 7 meter for AC, same goes to the same formula square root of that vector so minus 6 squared plus 4 squared plus 2 squared so the distance between uh, A and C is you can press calculator which is around 7.5 meter there okay so you have a vector you have a distance Okay, you have a vector here. This we call is a vector. One, the vector it is in the form of i, j, and k, whereas your a b with the unit of meter here. Okay, of unit meter here. So then you can solve determine the first component for cable a b and a c. Uh, just find the formula of using a formula of this component vector component vector uh, we have a space still we have space no problem component vector component vector of a b equal to tension a b the point tension there times vector a b divided by distance of a b okay this is for a b component force ni component force component force of a b kalau you nak find component force of a c the same formula lah component force of AC sebab sebab apa saya cari component force sebab soalan dia tanya component force for cable AB and AC so I'm using this formula lah AB here AC here component force of AC equal to tension of AC oh, sorry AC times vector AC divided by distance AC okay how that formula how this formula works uh, CAB kita mula selesaikan AB dulu CAB equal to uh, what is the tension AB given in the question tension AB AB 900 Newton tension AB 900 Newton Uh, times uh, vector AB uh, 6i 3j 2k minus 6i plus 2j minus 2k right divided by AB which is 7 there 7 so 
if you solve this question or this equation you can have a component of AB so senanglah kan component of AB for example here is 900 minus 900 in I direction plus 604 Newton in G direction and minus I'm sorry I'm sorry that is for AC I already uh, 900 I'm sorry which where is my AB where is my AB that one okay your AB is 7 minus 7 7 1 point four two I plus 3 8 5 point seven one J minus 2 5 7 point one K so this is your component of force in AB direction so your component of force in AC direction same goes uh, using that formula here formula there uh, which is 500 times minus 6y 6i sorry plus 2j not 2j is 4j 4j minus 2k of positive 2k and divided by 7.5 so you got 960i 640j plus 320k so this is the component force of this problem for AB and AC okay and after that the question asks you to find the magnitude and direction of the resultant forces exerted by cable uh, by cable these two cable at point A okay how to find the resultant forces of that uh, kita ada component AB component of force AB and component of force in AC so untuk cari resultant dia you just add up AB in IJK plus AB sorry AC AC IJK equal to resultant ok resultant in IJK so senang saja so your resultant is you tambahlah ni I and I J and J here tambah macam biasa saja K and K there so you can find the the resultant in component resultant in component let me find the calculator here for example your resultant component of this problem minus 771.42 plus minus 600 960 which is minus 1731.41 I sorry I then kenapa kosong tambah 3 lepas 5 71 so this one is 1025.71 and there's another one is 2k plus 2k 300 sorry 257.1 plus 320 sorry 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 the other one is negative this one is positive so you got 62 this is for J and you have a K 
62.9 K. So, to find the resultant, your square root of everything, 1,7,3,1,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,2,
resultant pun, pun akan reduce lah smaller lah di sini ok so that your answer based on your logical explanation there right with that uh, with that uh, we, we we have done with that question 1 uh, B sorry question 1 B question 1 B we complete all this uh, the writing, the handwriting there is uh, uh, probably lah, of course ugly lah, you have to do it by yourself so you understand the, the problem better if you rely on this without uh, testing your, uh, your understanding by yourself so you lost, okay, please do it again followed by my instruction here so you will, uh, you will know better Okay, you will know better. Okay. For question 2, let me read it for you. Uh, draw any name. Draw and name. You can draw any name. Draw and name any two type of support that are commonly used in rigid body analysis. Also include the number of unknown for each support. Okay. Draw and name. Any two, oh, ni paling senang di dunia ni. Draw and name any type of spot. Uh, for example, this question you can answer using a sim, uh, a simple problem of beam here. Uh, this is pin this is roller okay draw and name this is pin this is roller roller so, uh, commonly used ah betul lah ni kemudian uh, name dah draw dah kemudian include the number of unknown for each support you shown uh, kalau pin you have two uh, two force acting like that for roller you have one force on the beam so you got two marks from, from this simple sketching you got two marks there don't left behind this uh, kind of easy question and question number 2a2 two, how do you know if the object is statically indeterminate as a result of redundant support? Use diagram to support your answer. Okay, this uh, 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 this may be a little bit uh, difficult lah soalan ni. But kalau you paham, it is really easy. Okay, for example, statically indeterminate kita ada statically determinate kita ada uh, uh, unstable structure ok kalau statically determinate statically determinate you punya number of reaction number of reaction number of reaction what is number of reaction here? Ni lah ni. Reaction ni. Force yang ada kat luar ni. Number of reaction lah ni. Kita panggil dia. So, it is equal to number of equilibrium equation. Number of equilibrium equation. Okay, kalau sini ada tiga. Number of, uh, number of reaction dia. Satu, dua, tiga. 3 so number of equilibrium equation ada berapa? ada 3 juga kat sini summation of fx equal to 0 summation of fy equal to 0 summation of moment equal to 0 so ni 1 ni 2 and this is 3 so 3, 3 so we call it as statically determinate kalau Soalan tanya, how do you know if an object is statically indeterminate? 
statically indeterminate dia berbeza dengan statically determinate statically indeterminate number of reaction yo number of reaction equal to or bigger than number of equilibrium equation ok, kalau you punya number of reaction kat sini ada 4 then number of equilibrium you ada 3 sorry, kena 3 sudah lah ada 3, so you know that the structure is statically indeterminate ok, number of reaction dia terlebih daripada number of equation equilibrium alright so, that's the statically indeterminate uh, what happen if number of reaction is less number of reaction is less than number of equation of equilibrium so we call it uh, unstable structure unstable structure kalau number of reaction dia kurang daripada number of equilibrium equation kurang 3 sorry 1 3 ok let me simplify it for you for statically determinate SD statically determinate dia punya number of reaction number of reaction must be equal to number of equilibrium equation NEE statically indeterminate number of reaction lebih more than number of equilibrium equation and unstable structure us which is number of reaction is less than number of equilibrium equation okay you got it so how to answer that this so you dapatlah tiga markah kalau you tulis benda-benda macam ni we go with the question number 2B which is A here on the theoretical part and the B here on the solving uh, problem part If, let me read it for you question 2B shows a homogeneous bar AB this is homogeneous bar AB with the mass of 50 kg and is supported by roller A and B by a cable C ok, dia support by A dekat ada roller kat point A dia and B dan point B ada roller juga dan ada cable C ok the first one uh, the question asks you to draw FPD free body diagram of the bar A, B and kemudian calculate the reaction at point A and point B kemudian calculate the tension of cable C, D so for this question for this kind of question you can solve uh, any method you prefer you want to use the uh, vector method you can do that uh, yes you can do that Uh, or you can use the free body diagram method ok but uh, if the question asks you to draw a free body diagram method then you you can use free body diagram method easily to solve that question ok so the first one is to draw free body diagram for this question the free body diagram is just like this this is uh, those 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 bar this is the those bar a and b 
Let's put A on the, the left side here, A, and the B on the, at the bottom there because I have to make a, or draw a direction at the point A and point B. So, the direction of point A, which is roller, only one, should be uh, perpendicular to the surface of what it touch. Okay? Perpendicular. So, let's label that with a y. Assume that your axis is uh, vertical is y and the horizontal is x. Okay? So, the b, point b, also a uh, roller reaction reaction force okay which is perpendicular to the face of that roller and label properly b x and also the tension of cable at the point c to d this is your tension of cable let put it as a tension CD with angle of uh, 20 degree there 20 degree so this uh, drawing or sketching you get 2 marks easily okay but then find uh, direction A Y and bx find the direction of ay and bx how to find that simply by solve using summation of force in x direction equal to zero summation of force in y direction equal to zero let me start with this one first okay for x direction x direction uh, only bx and the component of tension cd here we have tension cd right tension cd in x direction and tension cd and y direction so uh, kalau you punya axis on the right hand side is positive of x direction so bx it is negative duration is negative so put it bx and then what else so tension cd plus because it is same direction with your axis x axis so tension cd cd in x direction which is cos 20 degree so any uh, any other uh, 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 reaction in x direction no okay so equator zero for that question and summation of force for y direction same goes there a y which is positive to your axis and plus tension CD tension CD in Y direction which is sine 20 degree any other reaction force in Y direction? no so equate did equation equal to 0 ok so you have but 2 equation you still cannot solve this uh, problem since we have to use summation of moment summation of moment at point uh, you can select you have to select a proper direction or a proper point of moment where you want to find it because if you put on the wrong direction or wrong point of moment so you you have a lot of unknown so if you have a lot of unknown, you need to solve uh, a lot of, you need to solve uh, uh, in the longer way, in the longer way, and uh, is the longer path to solve it, okay? 
if it is like this you put a moment of point at point C so you only have a two two uh, reaction of point included in your moment uh, equation of equilibrium okay so if you put at A you have to uh, split this uh, tension cable and also in to include with the B reaction at the point B so you have a three three number of uh, uh, tension there so if you just put at the uh, C you only involve point A and point B okay let me solve it for you if you uh, then you can see the importance of selecting uh, point of moment okay here is point of moment at c equal to zero which is counter is positive uh, so counter is positive bx times bx times you have to find uh, the, uh, the 90 degree distance to the point of C the 90 degree distance of point at point B to C so here the 90 degree distance you cannot use uh, 4 meter there you cannot use 4 meter there because it is not in the four, uh, uh, 90 degree distance okay so bx bx times 90 degree distance there is a 4 cos 40 degree cos 40 degree using this one not this one Ta, which is positive ay times another distance of a to c in a perpendicular way so you have to find this distance so you need to use I'm sorry this is not cos 40 this is sine 40 this is sine 40 not, not cos 40 if you cos you, you, you got this direction so this is sine and this one is cos 2 cos 40 equal to 0 let me check back so this is negative not positive this is negative not positive so your uh, equation become bx for sin 40 like what? I'm sorry again I'm sorry again because of this question giving you another uh, 50 kilogram of mass of that bar so your uh, FBD here only get one max because you're not giving a, a mass okay if you put mg here the mass sorry again mg so you got two marks So for summation of fx here, you don't have a problem. For summation of fy here, you have a problem because you need to include. Uh, you need to include the mass of that bar. So it's not there. Just put mg in that direction. So equal to zero. And also
also for the moment also let me rewrite this again b sin 40 minus ay to cos 40 don't forget with the 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 the, the, the mg there the mg is supposedly in the middle of your bar here middle there the center because mass of one system is always acting on the on the center of gravity which is there mg so this is your mg so you need to times against uh, uh, 56 so the center is 3 right 3 meter so mg cos plus mg 3 cos 40 ok so the mg is 50 g is 9.81 the gravity lah so equal to 0 so if you solve that equation you can have uh, you can have sorry you can have uh, four question four uh, sorry e three equation three equation for example not for example this is equation one this is equation two this one and this is equation three if you solve this equation three to equation two or three to one you can simplify the equation let's say 3 to 2 equation 3 to 2 ok so The equation 3 you can simplify to like this TCD 2.416 minus 375.75 divided by 1.53 I'm solving this equation actually this equation TCD simplicity TCD simplicity sorry uh, so you got this I'm simp um, I'm simplifying this a y to this uh, not 3 to 
3 to 4, ni, not 3 to 2. Okay? Yes, it's 3 to 2, sorry. 3 to 2, this equation 2 actually, I'm simplifying equation 2. So, I want to merge equation 2 to 3. I want to merge equation 2 to 3 or equation 3 to 2. Doesn't matter. So, your ay there and equation here here you can put all these all these and this you susun balik you put it inside there so later on you will simplify this equation to find the tcd which is 375.405 newton then once you got the TCD you can find the AY based on this equation you ada TCD kan ha. you masukkan TCD nilai tu dapatlah nilai AY so your AY is 3, 4, 7.208 Newton and your BX how to find the BX you just got the AY and TCD you got AY and TCD so for BX you just need TCD just put it TCD here in the equation 1 so you got the PX here it's simple it's, uh, it, uh, it is a mathematic so uh, you're supposed to have a PX of uh, 352.72 Newton okay and if you read back for the uh, question here tension of cable CD so your calculation here is solving for tension CD itself so you you you, you jumpa TCD dulu lah after that you find uh, the component force of this okay and this one so it will be it is a little bit uh, messy on the on, on the writing there but you can try to solve by yourself and your understanding uh, is important okay you can try by yourself your understanding is better when you try to solve it by your own okay with this guide lah of course kalau you tak tahu you can message me or call me ok so that's it for today that's it for today I will upload again this afternoon on similar topic because uh, every lesson kita ada I will solve for you 4 question ok every lesson so I can solve for you 2 lesson for two, 2 4 question for this lesson lesson number 1 uh, two questions are already done so this afternoon I will uh, solve for you another two questions so we done with first lesson thank you again thank you sorry for the bad handwriting uh, I urge you to do it yourself I will uh, the question I will upload it not upload it I will email to you because uh, if I make uh, Google Classroom from for only one person it is really wasted time so I will email you or uh, messaging you or whatsapp you the, uh, the, the, the the question okay thank you again Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh